This video shows how to troubleshoot your monitor connection when the computer starts but the monitor remains blank. Follow these steps to check if the blank monitor is caused by the computer hardware, the video signal to the monitor, or the monitor itself. Before you begin, make sure the monitor has power and the power light comes on when you press the power button. If you have a flat panel LCD monitor, unplug the monitor power cable and wait about 30 seconds. Then reconnect the cable and turn on the monitor. This resets the monitor. If the monitor has a detachable video cable, you will need a second cable for testing. Disconnect all devices from your computer, except the mouse, keyboard, and monitor. Remove any USB drives and memory cards from card reader slots. If you can hear the computer fan spinning and see lights on the computer, the problem might be with the video cable connection or the monitor. Connect the different monitor to the computer to test for video cable and monitor problems. First, turn off your computer and monitor. Disconnect the monitor from the computer. Then connect a different monitor to the computer. Turn on the computer and the monitor. If the new monitor works, the original monitor cable might need to be replaced. Replace the original monitor cable with a new cable. Then plug the original monitor back into the computer. Turn on the monitor. If the monitor displays an image, you are finished troubleshooting. If the monitor remains blank, disconnect it and go to the next step. Inspect the cable and video connectors for damage. If there are any bent pins in the connectors, carefully straighten them with a small metal tube, like the tip of an empty mechanical pencil. If any pins are broken, or if the cable is sharply bent or broken, replace the cable. Reconnect the monitor to the computer and turn it on. If the monitor displays an image, you are finished troubleshooting. If the monitor remains blank, disconnect it. And reconnect the working monitor. If the working monitor displays the startup screen, then goes blank, follow these steps to change the Windows display resolution. Press the Windows and I keys at the same time, and then click the power icon. Hold down the Shift key and click Restart. Click Troubleshoot, then click Advanced Options. Click Startup Settings, then click Restart. Press the 3 or F3 key to enable low resolution video. Wait until Windows opens. Connect the original monitor. Change the display resolution to match the default setting for the monitor. If the computer makes a beeping sound when it is turned on, a card, cable, memory module, or processor inside the computer may have come loose. Some components can be damaged by electrostatic discharge, or ESD. To reduce the chance of ESD damage, work over a non-carpeted floor. Use a static dissipative work surface, such as a foam pad, and wear an ESD wrist strap connected to a grounded surface. Unplug the mouse, keyboard, monitor, 
and power cable from the computer. Press and hold the power button for 5 seconds. Turn the computer onto its side with the removable panel facing up. Remove the screws from the side panel. And slide the panel off towards the back of the computer. Gently press down on the outside edges of cards and memory modules to make sure they are securely in place. Do not press too hard. Gently press down on the connectors of the flat ribbon cables. Replace the side panel and screws. Reconnect the mouse, keyboard, monitor, and power cable. And turn on the computer and monitor. If the monitor displays an image, you are finished troubleshooting. If the monitor remains blank or displays a no signal message, the video hardware might be faulty and should be replaced or serviced. If the monitor works on another computer and the computer has a video card, follow these steps to receipt or replace the video card. First, unplug the mouse, keyboard, monitor, and power cable from the computer. Press and hold the power button for 5 seconds. Turn the computer onto its side with the removable panel facing up. Remove the screws from the side panel. And slide the panel off towards the back of the computer. Locate the video card. Disconnect any cables connected to the card and remove the video card. Install the new video card and connect the cables to the card. Replace the side panel and screws. Reconnect the mouse, keyboard, monitor, and power cable. And turn on the computer and monitor. If the monitor displays an image, you are finished troubleshooting. If the monitor remains blank, it might need to be replaced or serviced. If Windows was recently upgraded, Windows might be starting up into a power saving state and showing a blank screen before it loads. After Windows loads, about two minutes after turning on the computer, press the power button briefly or press the suspend key on the keyboard. If the computer comes out of a suspended state, follow these steps to disable power saving in the BIOS. Turn on the computer and immediately press the F10 key repeatedly until the BIOS setup utility opens. Press the right arrow key and select the power tab. Press the down arrow key to select hardware power management, then press enter. Press the right arrow key 
to disable SATA power management. Press the F10 key to save the settings. Press the left arrow key and select the File tab. Press the down arrow key to select Save Changes and Exit. Then press Enter twice. If the monitor shows an image, you are done troubleshooting. If you have tried all the steps and your monitor remains blank, you might need to service the computer or the monitor. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you have owned the computer or monitor and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out the support options for your computer or monitor. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash how to for you.